those notes down because if you don't know where to find it, you're always going to be in a disarray of I don't know where to look, right? And I want you guys to know exactly where to find things. So we're going to go on over to the LifeWave Wellness Warriors. Um, if you haven't joined that group, again, make sure that you join. Make sure that you bring your people into the group. I cannot bring your people into the group. I cannot have any more friends on Facebook. I'm over the max already at 5,000. So I can't bring anybody in, okay? Like if I, when I sponsor new people, like get rid of old friends, literally like that. Or maybe they're not old friends, but just old contacts or whatever on my Facebook group, just so that I can invite them to my, um, the LifeWave Wellness Warrior. So it's crucial that you do that because people need to be plugged into community, all right? When you're plugged into community, people are more likely to have success, physical and financial success. Would you guys agree? When you're plugged into community, you're more likely to have physical and financial success. Okay, so I'm in LifeWave Wellness Warriors here, as you can see, uh, that's on my screen. And I'm just gonna go on here and type my name. I always search for my own name, posting things. That's, a, that's how I find things literally sometimes. So I go, we need our own brand in. And then I'm gonna say my most recent post to show you guys what I just posted. So if you hadn't seen this four hours ago, it's testimonies. And so I'm just gonna come in here again and I actually wrote testimonies. So if you go into the search looking glass and uh, write testimonies, guess what's gonna happen? This is gonna come up. So this is the brand new page that was launched from This Is It uh, team. But some of you, if you're saying to me, hey, Renita, how come some of the things say that this is restricted yet? I am sure they are still working on this. I am sure that they are making sure testimonies are compliant um, and just up to par. So don't get nervous when something says, uh, this is not, you're not available to access this. There's no codes, there's no nothing you're gonna need, but I'm sure they're making everything up to par, like I said. So use what you have that's, um, that's right there. Use what you have, like click on you know mental clarity and whatever testimonies are there, use the ones that already exist, okay? Don't read too much into it. If you click on something and it said, sorry, this is restricted, uh, it's restricted because they're fixing it for you. <laughs> That's why it's restricted. Okay, so don't make a big deal out of it. I noticed in the Facebook group, everybody's kind of panicking. I'm like, okay, take a deep breath. Take three deep breaths, actually. And just know that they're, here's the thing. Once you realize that David Schmidt, LifeWave, Stephen Gina Merritt, Scott and Renita Brennan are for you, we are for you, then you will have no <laughs> inklings. Like, I never think, geez, I wonder what they're doing. I never think like that. My, my, uh, I lean toward they are out for my best interest. They are out for my good. And God is working on my behalf right now. Like that is literally where I lean. Um, and if you're leaning the other side, I encourage you, it's probably not going to work for you to grow a huge business if you're super negative. So first thing you want to do is ex uh, just expect the best. Expect the best. That's a note to take, by the way. Expect the best. I expect the best when I talk to people about the patches. I expect the best when I talk to people about finances. I expect the best every time I talk to anybody about this opportunity. I'm always expecting the best. That's just what I expect. And generally, that's what I get. That's what I get is the best, okay? Um, let me see here, chat. Favor find me what? Thank you, that is scriptural. Favor will find me. I, 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 like, I love it in scripture where it says, God's goodness will hunt me down. Yeah, amen. I'll take that all day long. Is God's goodness hunting you down? It's hunting me down. And so it's a good thing, right? So again, uh, expect the best and the best will, will show up. So again, if you guys have not seen that brand new uh, link, really great for testimonies, really great for testimonies. And again, that's in our LifeWave Wellness Warriors group. And I'm sure as the days progress here, because they literally just like launched it today, but as the days progress, you're going to see more and more testimonies. And here's something else. If you have a testimony, you say, Renita, I've had really good improvements with my bladder. Like you literally can send them an email um, and they will actually help uh, to put, make sure that your testimony is also on there. So if you've got great stories to share and you want your voice heard and you have people on your team that have incredible, incredible testimonies, make sure that you get them on over there to uh, the This Is It team. Testimonial, is it testimonials at thisisitteam.com? I think that's what it is. And so um, I'll put that in the Facebook group. But, and I'm going to tell Steve and Gina, by the way, to add that to this page. That needs to be right on here. If you have a testimony, please email too, right? That should be right there for all of us to see. So I'm going to give them that encouragement tonight that um, that would be a nice thing to add on here. All right. Any questions on this testimonial page? 
facts, talent, story, sell. We know that in the business, you know, people that say that they, we learned about this the other day. Now pathos, egos, and logos, right? Like, who are you dealing with? Let's give them a little bit of each. And if they're that person that really loves the stories, they're going to love this testimony page. Okay, guys. Uh, one more, you know what I just keep thinking? We have so many great tools in our arsenal to build our businesses. How many of you think that? I mean, are you kidding me? We've got this now. We've got the this is it team. So let's just keep going through these um, different tools that we have. So this is it info is going to be the first uh, tool that you're going to use. Uh, this is it info is going to be the tool that you send to people that just want to learn about X39. They just want a little more information. Okay. Don't rewrite the manual. Just go give them a little bit more information. Say, here's what I say. You guys can use what I say because I'm constantly enrolling people. I say, hey, listen. This is a, and I voice text everything. I very rarely text because as you know, I misspell words or swear accidentally, but I'm not really trying to do that. It just picks it up like that. And so I, I always voice text to hit the voice recording. Do all of you know how to use your voice recording, by the way, on your uh, phones? Yep. Okay. If you don't, you can just basically go to messages. Like you're going to text message someone. I'm like, I'm going to start a message of text message. Okay. And um and you can actually along, sometimes people have that little uh, microphone along the side, but sometimes if I just click on it and next to, in that thing, I hit the plus button. When I hit the plus button, all these things, kind of. And so what I would hit there is audio. And when you hit audio, it's going to, it can record what you say. And so then I tell people this, hey, listen, I'm so glad you're taking a look at this. I really believe it's going to bless your health. We've seen a lot of great results with your uh, condition that you're talking about. Um, but here, listen, will you do me a favor? I want you to strengthen your knowledge a little bit about this product. Would you go to this as an info? I put the link right below. And would you just watch three videos on there? There's like 30. Could you just watch three? The first one, if you click on it, is a minute, 40 seconds long. Would you be willing to watch three videos on there? Because it'll explain a little bit more. Generally, people will watch one and be texting you back. Sometimes they'll need to watch two and they'll say, okay, I'm in, how do I get started with this? But you're at, you're asking them to do something. And remember with women, we use the word could and men, we use the word would. You guys know that trick? Trick. Men need the word would, W-O-U-L-D. Women need the word could. That's like, I don't know. It's a really odd thing. But when you say to a man, would you do this? What do men say? Yes. If you say to a woman, could you do this? Generally, a woman's going to, going to say yes. So women use the word could, men use the word would, and say, you know, would you do me a favor and just watch uh, three of the videos on here? I think it'll really help to, um, so you better understand this product. And generally, it won't take them watching all three videos. Trust me. They'll say, they'll come back with one of two things. They'll come back after watching a video or maybe two and say, okay, I'm in. How do I get going? Or they'll call you 45 minutes later and they'll say, I can't stop watching these videos. <laughs> That's like one of the two things that people do when you ask them to do that. So don't just send them this is an info. Send them this is an info with a little instruction. And I like it to be my own voice. How many of you guys are doing that right, right now? How many of you think that would be a good idea? You're actually requesting them to do something versus just sending something and keeping your fingers crossed, hoping they click on it. You're kind of asking them, hey, would you do me a favor? And sometimes I even say that, hey, do me a favor. Would you do me a favor? Could you do me a favor? Get on over to this website. I'm going to text it right below and just click on it. And would you be able to just watch like two, maybe three videos on here? They're very short. I think that you'll really understand fully what this patch is all about if you watch these videos. Let me know after you watched a couple of videos. And like, boom, it's like, it's like sales tool 101 right there for me. You're asking people to do something. Okay, you guys got it? That's me being a behavioral change specialist. I don't just tell people, hey, I want you to exercise every day. Okay, it's not going to work. I'm like, okay, you need to text me a picture that you've done 10,000 steps. Send me a picture of your pedometer at the end of the day. See how that's different? <laughs> that's different. Asking someone to exercise or then being very specific about what they're to do next, right? So I encourage you guys to do that. So this is an info. Hopefully you jotted that down if you're brand new on here tonight. Now, remember, if you're learning about the business, this is it. Team is our team building page where you can get all the tools and techniques. Did that change over for you guys? You see it? This is it, team. Okay. Um, so if you've never been on here, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, I was just making stir fry. I put some pepper in there. 
Uh, if you go on here and you click on onboarding, that's a great place to start for brand new people. Kind of talks about how to set up their pay portal and different things like that. Um, and then also if they don't know, like, how do I, what, where do I start? Click on the, this is the 10 step system. I love it. Determine why it is that you're doing this. Determine, you know, I always say, they always say if your why makes you cry, you're going to do this thing. But I tell you what, um, it's incredible. It's incredible what's happening to our team. Like I've done more Zoom meetings this weekend on a Saturday and Sunday than I think I've done since I started LifeWay. True story. I usually don't do a ton of Zoom meetings on Sunday. I was doing Zoom meetings all day today, people. So um, this team is straight up growth right now, straight up on fire, straight up sharing the message. I mean, today I uh, did a Zoom in particular. I had two pharmacists at different facilities that uh, are on board and they're just awesome pharmacists. One's been a pharmacist for 15 years, the other for 20 um, and they are all about this patch, right? So we got the pharmacists getting on board. You know, we're at the right place at the right time when the pharmacists, <laughs> the people who are selling the drugs are getting on board. Think about this for a second. Think about the shift that's happening in our healthcare system. This is awesome, isn't it, you guys? We're so blessed to be part of this. So this is it, uh, team.com along the top. If you've not uh, watch anything about the compensation plan, please do. Uh, the compensation plan is at the very top. And again, lots of great videos here. You know, when I first started with LifeWave, how I really, what I decided to do is to commit my morning getting ready time to learning. And so every morning, if you come to my house and be a fly on the wall, you'd hear, I usually was listening to LifeWave Connects with David Schmidt to learn about each of the patches because I wanted to know more. So, and they're about an hour long. So while I was getting ready in the morning, I had that playing the whole time. I was constantly saturating my brain with that information so I could learn it, so I could speak it. And I would listen to some of the videos. Sometimes I would like those so much, I would listen to them more than once, right? Because they were so good. I'm like, oh, I gotta listen to that one again. And so um, I encourage you guys to do the same. Carve out a period of time. And for me, it was always in the morning when I was getting ready, I just made it a habit. Habits will make you or break you, right? And so I made it a habit that every morning I'm just going to educate myself. So maybe you guys say, okay, I'm going to educate myself every morning with this is it team. I'm going to listen to one or two videos as long as it takes while I'm getting ready. I'm going to listen to that compensation plans because here's the thing. Repetition is great for the developing mind. How many of you guys know that? Repetition is good for the developing mind. If you're learning these new tools, these new techniques, the way to talk, you need to hear it more than once, right? I know I do. I feel like I'm a pretty sharp person, but sometimes I need to hear it again. Right. And then when I hear it again, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's what I need to say or that's how I need to do it or that's where I need to point people to. OK, so you guys got it. It's like this gal said to me uh, last night, she catched someone and they kind of had a they kind of had a, um, you know, here's the thing. How many of you were have ever watched any of those videos that I did with Dr. Atley? Dr. Atley, did any of you guys watch that? He runs a stem cell therapy clinic down in Georgia. Anybody watch those videos with me? Boy, are those good. You guys should go find those. Just type in Dr. Atlee, A-T-L-E-E, -E, in our uh, LifeWave Wellness Warriors. And he said to me, Renita, what we're looking for when we put the patch on, just like when they give people the stem cell injections at his clinic, he said, we're looking for change. And he said, good or bad. He said, we just want to move the needle. He said, sometimes for some people, it might get worse before it gets better when they get a stem cell injection, Right. And, you know, their nerves are waking up, essentially. Sometimes parts of their body are coming to life that hasn't been alive for a long time, right? And so he said, we're looking for change. So just because there's a change, if it's slightly perceived as negative, don't stop. That means increase your electrolytes, get more sunshine, do more deep breathing, maybe go for a walk and sweat a little bit, right? Do something to kind of nourish the body. And he said, and you'll roll right through that. He said, but we're really looking for change. We're looking for change. Okay, so if someone gets on the patch, of course we want the change always to be good. In a perfect world, it'd be straight up, like Paula Abdul song, straight up now tell me, right? Is it going to be you and me forever? But the bottom line is, is like, it's not always going to be straight up with healing. You guys know if you're on a healing journey at all, the healing journey is like unwinding. It's like an unwinding process of health. But just stick with people, encourage them, love them. You know, if you have to take a day off of the patch and um, do some electrolytes, but she said it was crazy because last night she had patched her daughter and she had some swollen, swollen, uh, something got swollen after she patched. And she said, I went and started researching and she was using the energy enhancer. And she said, David Schmidt said that if that happens, that's like a fluid issue in the body and the kidneys need a little love and support. 
And so as I was talking to her today, I said, Hey, like, here are some solutions that we can do for the kidneys. And she's like, Oh my gosh, like, this is what I'm going to do. She said, but what are the chances that I went and found a LifeWave connect video where David Schmidt is talking about kidney one on the bottom of the feet and uh, fluid regulation. You know, she said, I just happened to come across the video. So I'm going to encourage you guys, if you're business builders on here and you're true business builders and you're not fly by night, um, seek, start seeking. I'm a constant seeker. I'm always looking for solutions. I'm looking for the answers. Um, I'm going to tell you that David Schmidt is going to be coming out. We've got so much great stuff coming. <laughs> we got so much good stuff coming on the pipeline. David Schmidt is going to be on, and he got interviewed by a lady by the name of Meredith. And uh, she was actually sponsored, I, I believe, by Dr. Leland Stillman. And Meredith is um, really big into quantum biology, like this quantum realm. Like, And so if you guys go follow her, uh, let me tell you her name on Facebook. It's just good stuff. But she actually interviewed David Schmidt, and that's going to be airing. I got to get the exact date when it's going to air, but it's going to be so good because this woman focuses a lot, a ton on light and the healing mechanisms of light. Uh, she's called Quantum Biology Collective is her name on Facebook. Uh, really, really amazing. Uh, Quantum Biology Collective. Meredith Oki is her name. Wow, wow, wow. Great. I mean, she's the fact that she's on our LifeWave team, we're just blessed and highly favored. This gal is unbelievable. Um, yeah, so she's a Quantum Biology Collective on Facebook. And if you guys are in the Instagram world at all over there, and the reason I'm telling you this is, first of all, she just talks a lot about light. So that's really good to know the stuff that she's talking about. But the second reason I'm telling you this is because she just interviewed uh, David Schmidt, Quantum Biology Collective on Instagram as well. So uh, really amazing. As soon as you go down that rabbit hole, you guys are going to be like, wow, this is wild stuff. But anyway, she's she's interviewed David Schmidt. We just had another amazing person came on by one of the doctors. Holy cow, I've been following this guy for like years. And here this guy came on uh, with a diamond pack yesterday morning. He's so excited. I've got a call with him tomorrow. And he's got a huge, I mean, these people are like, we're talking world renowned people are getting involved with LifeWave. It's unbelievable. Like, so here's what I'm going to tell you. Don't be disheart disheartened if you're the person you talk to, your next door neighbor doesn't do it. It's okay. <laughs> it's really okay. I would just move on to the next person because you're going, this is kind of a, a, a opportunity where not everybody's going to get it at the same time. Not all the lights are going to go on in the house at the same time. How many of you guys know that? People are on their own healing journeys. And sometimes they understand um, this quantum realm or phototherapy. Some people get it faster than others. You guys know the story. Onyx Cool sent me a X39 sleeve. She gave me an entire one of these sleeves one year before um, Doris from Canada sent me some patches for mom. You know what I did with this sleeve? I think I looked at it and I was like, what is this little piece of round plastic going to do for health? I think I had my mom and dad back then maybe wear one or two. And I think I threw it in the garage somewhere. Like I was not ready to receive it. Can you imagine a year earlier than Steve and Gina Merritt, I knew about this patch and I just wasn't ready to accept it. Wasn't ready to accept it. So just remember people are on their own healing timeframes and their own knowledge timeframes. We don't hate them for it. We just move on. Don't spend too much time nagging, begging and dragging one person because they're not getting it. Okay. Because you can waste a whole lot of energy. How many of you know this? You can waste a whole lot of energy on someone that is not ready to receive it yet. And they need to be ready to receive it. So my advice is just keep moving, positive, healthy, forward direction. But um, yeah, so that's a, that's a major thing coming on the pipeline. So again, so far tonight, you guys know about the new website for testimonies. You know about This Is It Info. Send everybody there. This Is It team is going to be all your business related things. Let's talk for a second about, um, did all of you eventually catch up and watch Scott's video from last Saturday? The Saturday trainings are always phenomenal, by the way. Scott's video was great when you saw it attached to the slides. How many of you rewatched it with the slides attached? Because that's where it got really good. Because then you're not just listening, you're seeing what he's talking about. And, and in fact, do any of you want to give any feedback from that? Do you have any big takeaways from that? And if you do, unmute yourself. I'd love to hear it. And I know Scott would too. Any big takeaways from the tax training that you guys watched? 
Anybody, anybody. Anybody? Nobody? No one took any takeaway, major takeaways, like aha moments? Susan, Gala, Jody, Heidi, Mary Ellen, who's got something? Angela, did you watch it? Angela C., Angela Clark, you beautiful lady. Did you watch it? Un unfortunately, I wasn't able to watch it on the day because I had another commitment. So I have it on my list of to, to follow up and watch and I'm glad to hear that the slides are with it. Yeah. So it, yeah, I will watch it. Watch it. Because if you go to any of the ones that they click on from the YouTuber, this is it team. They actually added the slide. So everyone, the slides should be present on it now. So you won't have to worry about like, am I clicking on the link without the slides? They all should have the slides added. But really, you know, the reason things, the reason I, I stress that is it's going to add such value to your life. Like, I mean, I know I'm a businesswoman, right? It's going to add such value to your business when you understand some of those principles. And if you don't understand those principles, it's almost like you're kind of living in the dark a little bit. Like you don't, like there's an area like you just don't know that much about, right? Um, yeah, I love knowing that wearing the patches and advertising, how else are they going to know? Like many times, how many of you guys just with a raise of hands, have you had a patch on and someone says to you, what is that? Has that ever happened to any of you? Whether it's on your neck or chest or shoulders, wherever you wear it generally, when I'm wearing it in a visible spot, uh, people are saying, what is that, right? Or can I ask what that is, right? And so um, if they're not seeing it, sometimes it's hard to strike up a conversation, especially with people that you don't know, like if you're just out and about, right? If you go to an exercise class, I always put the patch in a visible spot. Always in an exercise class, I want, the, I want everybody in the class to see that I got this patch on. I am not wearing it under my belly button because I do not have a crop top on, okay? So like, I am going to put it someplace where they can see it. And usually I got multiple patches. I got one on my neck. I got two on the top of my shoulders. Sometimes I throw one on my chest. I mean, I make it visible. Why not? It's my business, right? I want everybody wearing the patch. Okay. So you guys don't be, don't hide it. In the Bible, what does he says? Don't hide your pearls, right? Don't hide your gemstones. Like do not hide things that are very important to you. So don't hide your patch. Why would I put in a hidden spot when I can show the world? I want everybody healthy. Um, I was just remembering that that was my takeaway too. It's a device, not a consumable. Yeah, yeah, it's a device. So remember, technology. You know, this is a technology device essentially, right? And so that's a different frame of thought too, compared to like a multivitamin, which is a consumable product. Now, this is uh, consumable in the fact that it's wearable. Like you need a fresh patch every day, right? But it's not an ingestible. So I mean, it's just much, much different. I, like I said, I say this all the time to people and I get to talk to, I mean, I talked, well, I said, like I said, today I had two pharmacists on the, on the line that are both in the business. They're so excited about this and they are getting doctors and integrated doctors and all these people on board. So there's like all these amazing people come on board. But what I always think is like with all of this, with all of this, I mean, you don't have to be a doctor. You don't have to be a pharmacist. You don't have to be a nurse. You don't have to have any degree. Let's be honest. Like you don't have to have a degree. This is the secret of network marketing. It levels the playing field. It levels the playing field, right? So you don't have to have an educated degree. Now, if you have it and you feel like that gives you an advantage, go for it then. You know what I mean? But if you don't have it, you don't need it. It's okay. Are the pharmacists independent and using them in their businesses? Uh, so one of they, they do side hustle. So one of them actually works in a hospital setting still. And so she's doing it outside of uh, the clinic setting, that one is. The other one works in a hospital setting as well, but she also does side hustles of working for an integrated physician and kind of some other things like that. So she's going to move her business more through like the integrated physician and there's several people at that facility. And she was telling me what they do. It's everything from hormone testing to everything. between. I mean, you know who else is really amazing at all this? What am I talking about? Is Robin on here? Robin is like constantly bringing to the table these doctors. Robin, are you on here? Let me see if Robin's on. She said to me earlier today, I'll see you tonight, but maybe, maybe something came up. Yeah, Robin is like the queen of this stuff. Like literally, I don't know, Robin is doing like five to seven Zoom meetings a week with like these incredible integrated physicians. Like, <laughs> like she's just, I don't know where she's getting them from. I think she's finding them on LinkedIn. Actually, I don't do much on LinkedIn because I'm not very familiar with the platform, but I actually think that's where she's getting them from. But we'll see if she hops on. We'll have her visit a little bit about it. Um, yeah, so that's that. 
Where else? What else was I going to say about that? What's in the chat here? Are the pharma okay? So yeah, so they're not. So you got to be careful. Like if they're in a hospital setting, right? They're not. I mean, they can wear them there, but and they 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 can recruit the staff within this the pharmacist. But it's like not like they're like hard selling the patients on it, right? Um, yeah. Let me see here. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions about that? I love no. Yeah. So I mean, I feel like you guys. The knowledge, the more knowledge you have about the financial benefits, uh, the more resources you take part in and listen to, the more money you're going to make. <laughs> That's as simple as I can say it. Like, you know, if you don't learn anything and start like, you know, educating yourself about financial literacy, then you won't understand the the plus side to doing this type of business. Let's give it up for Sherry McCants. Sherry McCants had, I think, her biggest week ever last week in LifeWave. Sherry, are you on here? Let me see. It's hard for me to find participants because I got to go through them like this. Here it is. Sherry, are you able to talk? Are you like in a meeting? Yeah. No, but I can talk for a minute. Sherry, <laughs> sure, you had your biggest week ever with life. How are you feeling about that? Uh, pretty excited. <laughs> yeah. Right? It's yeah, very, it was my very biggest, exciting. And, my biggest week ever. And, um, you know, now I'm really, really, really wanting to go to the Greek Isles. <laughs> so that's yeah, my right? next goal. Yeah. yeah. That's your next goal. And a very, yeah. very doable, I think, for you. I'd have to go back and look at the regulations and the guidelines, but to see where you're at. But hey, why don't you get a hold of Scott so he can help you with that exactly? Because okay. I don't want you to miss Greece. Okay. Right? Sounds that's going to be a whole yep. lot of fun. Yep. Yep. He kind of went through it already. And I said, what do we need? He said, we already won it. I was like, oh, that's good. But I was like, uh, <laughs> let, now let's get some of our friends on it. Now yes. let's get some of our friends on it. Like, cause we know that Greece is going to be a lot more fun with Sherry and Matt McCants on the ship. <laughs> that's what I know. Yes. Right? That's We're true. Gonna have some fun in the sun, Santorini. So, you know, the sky yeah. is the limit, you guys. Just uh, don't stop. I mean, look at Sherry. Sherry, I mean, you're what? 20 months into this business. Did you ever think like you're making this kind of money? No. Yeah. It's 20 months. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. <clears throat> and, and you've done other it, things. And, and it's you... not slowing down. I mean, no. every day. I mean, it's just not slowing down. It's not going to. <laughs> no, it's not going so. to. Yeah. I mean, it's just, I mean, every day, every day, every way, you know, it's, I, I have, so if I would, sometimes I think to myself, I should maybe just do a virtual reality TV show about network marketing and just like film a day in my life. Like, so you guys <laughs> would see what like goes on. Because I think people are like, well, how do I do it? Or what, how does it work? And like, I, I, I'm i like, I wish people would just be like, hear these conversations I have. Or like, like you know, witness some of the things I get to see. Like, would that be cool? I, I said to my boys, I need to start a reality TV YouTube channel about network marketing, what it really looks like, right? Like for people that are hands and feet in the field out there serving one another. And um, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, we got so many people that, I mean, I talked to a guy on Friday, he invested. He's invested, his wife has Parkinson's and he's invested tens of thousands they get stem cell injections twice a year for the last i think he said three or four years and he said wow. he's not seen one change with her and i said that doesn't mean it doesn't work you know uh, maybe it's doing something internal these stem cell injections that he's getting i mean it's tens of thousands of dollars right a couple times a year i said maybe it's working you just you're not seeing some of that stuff and i said but the, the major difference between this and that i said i mean give this 90 days. I mean, even if you're a customer, you got a money back guarantee. If I said, if you're a brand partner, I just know you're going to see a result. I know you're going to see something with her, you know? And, um, and I said, because my mom's not an anomaly, you know, who, who was it that, did you send me a testimony, Heidi Sarnecki about your brother? Yeah. It's Heidi's brother. If she Heidi, can you share unmute. that? Yeah. Ask to unmute. I'm going to ask to unmute you. Okay. Heidi, I'm share that. Yeah. Okay. I'm so sorry. I haven't really responded to that text message. I was like, is she sending me someone from somebody else just showing me that? Or is that actually her brother? My brother. So um, he was diagnosed with um, Parkinson's um, last spring. So it's been about a year. And then I learned about LifeWave about um, in July, June, end of June. And um, so I just called my brother and I said, look, you know what? I'm your sister. So you can't say no to me. I'm getting these for you and you're going to take them. He, he said, oh, okay, I'll try anything. And, uh, you know, after a while I checked up on him and I said, um, oh, by the way, let me mention this too. He was, he is a dentist and, uh, okay, this is, uh, if we can just keep this amongst friends here, just amongst, you know, but, um, he, uh, was for kind of talked into doing a, uh, an investment with his partner. And, um, in order to do this investment, he cashed in his long-term care policy. 
And, oh, shoot. Yeah. and then he got diagnosed with Parkinson's. So now he can't get that back. He's in terrible debt. He can't do dentistry anymore. Oh my gosh. You know, that's a, and he can't pay for his new disease. Um, so he was suicidal and oh. thinking that, well, maybe my death benefit would pay for, you know, the debt that my wife is, will now be in. Um, so we talked him off the cliff and I told him to take, use the patches. Um, okay. So after a couple of months, I checked on him and uh, I said, how's it doing? How's it going, Steve? And he goes, um, I don't know, but... Oh, but I am doing my exercises now and I'm doing my meditations and my breathing exercises. <laughs> I'm like, Steve, you are, it's happening. You are getting better. And then yeah. a, a month or so later, um, I was on a Zoom and my sister piped in and she said, Heidi, um, his hands are no longer tremoring. And then and I, he went to my, he was obviously his um, daughter got married and I've got a video that I don't think I sent that to you, but he's actually kicking his legs up being silly. I mean, good balance, good gait. He's got his gait back and now he's off of half of his Parkinson's medication. So, oh, yeah. I mean, it's like my mom, my mom was on nine to nine, nine, uh, pills a day. And now like today she's had, I think four total. So, yeah. I mean, half, half of her meds easy. And, mm -hmm. uh, and so, but I'm going to tell you, Heidi. So I was talking to that guy on Friday and you had sent me that message and I read it to him and you didn't even know this, but that story you shared with me inspired that guy to say, you know what, I'm doing this with my wife. And I, cause I said, my mom's not an anomaly though. Like, you know, like there's so many people in this, like we see videos all the time of people with Parkinson's or neurodegenerative conditions, right. That have great results. And so it's not, not like, you know, Pearl's an anomaly or Steve's an anomaly. Like this is actually happening for people. And so like, we just have to be vocal enough to be able to share it. And, um, and I think that's part of, I think that's part of the journey is that openness and that that vulnerability right to share that hey i think it could be working right like and so i'm so happy he's having all that you just tell him that we're all praying for him tonight on this webinar just say we have a lot of people praying for you steve and thank god that um you know you gave him hope right he was hopeless for a second i mean that that that's a lot of crap that's all like cra a lot of crashing in on you at once right and so yeah. thankful, thankful uh, that he's on the patch. Who knows if he, he has some, I mean, just with what he's had, I would start possibly sharing it. Maybe he could recoup some of that finances, like with this opportunity. Why not? You know, has he considered looking at the financial opportunity yet or just not yet? Just not yet. Because he, he wants to keep his um, diagnosis private, doesn't want everybody knowing about it. So yeah. And yeah, yeah. he did try to share it in the um, Parkinson's community once and somebody really shut him down and he's such a sensitive guy he was like oh maybe i better not share it anymore he just oh he trust just me i try to share it all the time and i'm convinced those parkinson's community just want to keep him sick and on the drugs it pisses me off don't get me started on that like because i'm in all the parkinson's group i've taken the parkinson's certifications like i'm in the know right and so when i'm in there and i'm talking the other day the guy told him make sure that you eat a breakfast like a uh, cereal for breakfast i said what the hell are you saying telling parkinson's patients to eat cereal like oh my gosh, what are you doing dude i didn't say it quite like that but in my mind it was like that i was like listen i've been a nutrition coach for 25 years like these parkinson's people they need protein because protein is what creates the dopamine not cereal like, and like this guy, like many times he removes my posts when I put him in there and I'm like, they don't want people. Well, I swear to God, these Parkinson's groups don't want people. Well, they don't want you sharing the truth because God forbid somebody is not need needing on this group anymore. Right. If you guys notice on these groups, sometimes they I think they're just money off of people. Of I mean, they don't make money off of healthy people. No, one, the, no, I tell you what the one, the one guy I sent it to the guy that runs the group. He's in such tough shape. I think he's taking something like 12 cinnamon a day. Like he's not getting better. He's getting way worse. I sent him, I actually sent him a whole sleeve of patches. I felt so bad for this guy. I very rarely send sleeves, but I sent him a whole thing. And then he's like, oh, I'll have my wife use it. She's got, you know, uh, autoimmune issue. And I'm like, no, 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 you need to use it, Roy. Like, <laughs> like you've got Parkinson's. It's going to help you. What do you got to lose at this point, dude? But, you know, people are people. And again, they're all on their own journey and you can't, I mean, whatever. Next, you know, I can't push an egg bag or drink. So at a certain point, it's like you can plant the seed. And even with Steve, just keep praying for him because I believe that he'll continue to have success. Mom's only gotten better and better. You know, I threw her on the scale again today. I'm always looking at her weight, you know, because for so long, she was like a hundred pounds. Like she looked like a freaking skeleton. And today she weighed in at 122. 
yeah, what fighting weight, fighting weight. And so like, I love it. I love it. I said, mom, like, I mean, the fact that you're like, you know, 22 to 24 pounds heavier than you were when you started the patch is just like miraculous to me, you know, and maybe that's bone density. Maybe that's, you know, she's got some muscle like, but uh, yeah, it's amazing. You guys, we can talk about the health benefits all day, but thank you for sharing Heidi. We'll keep it. We'll keep it in here. Thank I appreciate you. that. Uh, Sherry, somebody wants to know how much money you made. Are you willing to share that? We can't make income claims. Here's the deal on these things. We can't make income, income, income claims. I can't tell you, you know, I can tell you, we can tell you what we were, were earning, but at the end of the day, like everyone's earning potential is up to their own business, right? Just because I made that doesn't mean you're making it just because Sherry made a certain amount doesn't mean you're going to make it. You have to go to work at working your business, right? And when you do that, you can make incredible income. Okay. Uh, let me see what else. What else? Did Sherry say how much your biggest Debbie Martin wants to know, Sherry. Sherry, you can inbox Debbie Martin and tell her what your biggest week is. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What else is on here? All right. Um, so let's go back. So you guys got the information about the new, make sure. And here's the thing. It's remember that old game that we used to play where you'd whisper in your friend's ear and they'd whisper in their friend's ear and they'd whisper in the next friend's ear. And then everybody would tell the secret and you'd hope by the time it got to the 10th person that it was the right secret. Do you guys remember that? Like th that's really this game. Like th this game is, are you telling your leaders? Are they telling their leaders? Are they telling their leaders? And if there's any breach in that, then someone's not getting trained right, okay? And I know this, I got some freaking obstinate leaders. Like I got some people, and obstinate is a good thing when it's making you money, but obstinate is a bad thing when it's costing you money, right guys? And so um, be obstinate with the right things. And so I've got some leaders that are like too smart for their own good. I'm like, they just don't use the system because they want to create their own. And I'm like, listen, you're not making any money doing that, you know, and you're hard to duplicate doing that. And so I would just, what do I follow? The system. I just do. I mean, this is it, team. This is it, info. Um, I download the app. Sometimes I send things over from the app. Very rarely. Generally, I kind of do the same thing over and over. Uh, just sending over. This is it, info. You know what I mean? Now I've got that new great testimonial page to send over, which I'm so excited about. So that's a big quiver in my uh, arsenal, right? Big arrow in my quiver, I should say. Um, let me see here. Telephone game, Robin. Robin, do you want to share? I was talking about you because I said, you're bringing in all these like doctors that are so awesome. Like these hey, integrated sorry. physicians. We, and we were at dinner and my, my family looked at me like, really mom at the table at the restaurant. So I'm like, okay, when I get in the car, I'm jumping on. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now you're, now you're on. Now you're on. Okay. So tell us that. Yeah. Yeah. That's tell funny. Us, like, um, you, well, I had, I had this one friend, um, Gosh, um, in October, I think it was because it was before I was doing, um, before I hit uh, that bonus thing. Anyway, she had said, you got to talk to Dr. Richardson. Like he's the best pain doctor in the world. Okay. So that's how it started. And then she said, oh, and then you need to talk to Mr. Maher. And then you need to talk to, I said, can you please just jump on my team? So she keeps sending me these big people. And I'm like, I'm just going to sign you up on my team because you would already have these people. Like I want you to have these people, but um, she has a clause in whatever it is that she's doing. She can't. And I'm like, okay. So she's a hard stop, a hard no. I'm like, okay, I'll take them all. So she just keeps giving me people. I'm like, I'll take them. Thank you. Yeah. But I, I do send her um, sleeves of patches in return. So that was my choice to do that. And she's happy to have them. Yeah. But you have so many, Robin, like you're always meeting with a different position. I feel like you're, I, mean, <laughs> I don't know anybody talking to as many positions as you're talking to. And those are, are my favorite. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. And so it's really a sweet spot for you, right? Like you like, you know, there, there comes to be a time where like, it's a sweet spot for us, right? Like, okay, that's yeah. a, that's an area where I just really excel at talking to those types of people. And so, yeah. um, Yeah. Uh, you, are you getting some of them off of LinkedIn? I thought that that's what you had said. Uh, well, the girl, my friend um, said, I only know his number through LinkedIn. Oh, and okay. so in October, she sent me his page and we connected that way. And then he gave me his phone number. Um, the other ones, I have their um, office phone numbers. In fact, um, I had a call with um, Debbie and a couple of her 
um, her team members earlier this week. I think it was Monday. It's Debbie on here. Um, and it was a really good call. But, you know, I was telling them, like, I, I, I actually can't really go on my brain off of what I say. I have in my head what I want to say, but I don't read it off as a script because then I I fumble over scripts. I, I have in my head what I want to say, and then I just blurt it out. And sometimes I get stuck. Like I reached out to you, the guy I'm going to talk to on Friday. We did a Zoom. He focuses on veterinarian stem cells, horses. And I'm like, oh, veterinarians, I have cats. And so I, I honestly, I just pulled out of my head um, while he was talking about himself. I pulled up AccuLife. And then I was skimming it while he was talking because that was the best I could do. Because only thing I do is I take off my X39, I stick it on my cat. Yeah. And I keep it really simple with them because, um, and when they want to know more science, I do send them stuff. And I say, you know what, I'm also going to reach out to, you know, my colleagues because I know they have experience in it because I don't want to tell them the wrong thing. But I also right. keep it really simple. It's copper peptides and they already know what that word is. Right. Yeah. Do you guys know what they added? And I, I sometimes use it for those of you who share all the patches. Like if you're not just sharing X39, let's say you're talking about Eon or Ice Wave. If you go to start X39 now, which I can show you guys that right now. And Heidi, I will do yeah. what you just asked me to do. Um, Heidi asked me to show how to enroll somebody from another country. But if I go to start X39 now, which is not our immediate team, but if it's a tool, I use it. It's a tool I use. It's not It's not Steven Gina, because I always prefer to use Steven Gina's tools because they're my immediate upline and my team. But I'm not opposed to using tools outside of that. I'm not opposed to using the YouTube channel for LifeWay. But when you go to Start X39 now, uh, let me reduce this a little bit here. Control minus, minus. How do I get the, my whole screen's done on there? Uh, yeah, hang on a second. How do I do that? Control minus. Is it getting smaller? No, it doesn't look like it's getting smaller. Maybe. Okay. As I come down here, I hate that one. It's too big. It's not all fitting on my screen. I was drawing something in earlier, but when you come down here, all these great things, they have all this stuff on here, but, uh, and I love how they have the actual patents and studies on there. But what I love is they actually, gosh, and it looks goofy now because my screen's too enlarged. But when I come all the way to the bottom, look what they have. They have the horses don't lie video. Have you guys seen that? Have you guys all seen this video or not? For horses, because you know we've got lots of vets on there. Can you hear that? No, the volume's not on. But you guys can go there and watch that. So I'm at Stardex 39 now. Another great resource that talks about all of the patches. All of the patches are on there. So if you want to learn about every single patch and what each patch does, um, in fact, David Schmidt does an 11 minute meeting on there that is so good. It goes dot on every patch. So. Um, it's called Start X39 now, but they have the horse one. So that's something that I would show Robin. Um, I'm excited. I have a lot of horse people all of a sudden getting on, involved. A lot of athletes suddenly, a lot of gym owners coming on board, uh, and uh, a lot of a lot of horse people for some reason. Um, in fact, uh, my one friend, uh, I think I told you guys about her. She's like a horse. You know what? Um, or something like that. And she actually just is down in Texas right now. They took the yeah. patches along. Their horses, they're driving to Texas, right? Because they're, they're rodeo, rodeo people. And she actually has the horses patched as they're traveling to keep the horses calm, right? <laughs> she's got an Eon on the patches, on the horses, on the way to, on the horse trailer. So like, she's like, take, I mean, they're living uh, South Dakota and she's driving to Texas with her boys because they're big time. Right? They're like national champs or something in rodeo, but Anyway, she's all in. And so she's super brilliant, like with where to patch these horses, like literally knows the exact spot on, on how to patch horses. So that's really like a cool thing that most like, and we have also a doctor out of um, Montana. His name is Rodney. He's a vet as well. And he is that same guy. Like he, he like put the, he knows exactly where those patches go on those animals. And so he's so good at it. So I think it's just because they know a little bit more about the meridians and where whatever you know, acupressure points are on these animals and they just patch them and they have great success. So I'm excited to, I'm excited for that. I'm excited for the meetings that we have coming up. Robin, you're, Robin is the one who's always getting a hold of me saying, Renita, I got this doctor. <laughs> I'm like, well, they, let's talk they to asked him. me these questions and he asked me, well, this is what I was going to say. He said, uh, well, we developed this, um, we're developing two drugs and the FDA is giving us the hardest time. And I would like to know your feeling on that. And he was saying something else. I said, well, my feeling on that is, and he also asked about like um, what we say to the FDA. And so I told him about the little fiasco that we had to go through, you know, towards the end of the last year. And so um, he was really interested in that. And so um, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, but he's, they're developing, um, they own a company that develops drugs for veterinarian companies and they're waiting on two to be approved. But he said, I want to do this modality in place of, I'm like, yay. Wow. Because yeah. I, people are shifting. People are, sh they're, I mean, yeah. the drug, you got to, when people say, I don't believe in frequency. I'm like, what do you think drugs are? They're part petroleum. My goodness gracious, drugs are petroleum for God's sake. Like get with it. Like everything has a frequency, right? I love all the Christians. They say, I don't believe in a frequency. I'm like, really? Like, how are you operating a cell phone? That's a frequency. It's like a radio station. Anyway, uh, the bottom line is, is uh, what's the best tool to educate parents? Angela, what I would do if people are nervous about doping, and I think Heidi Sarnecki is another one that could talk about this all day. And I could too, because I deal with a heck of a lot of athletes and gym owners and trainers and, um, you know, all kinds of people like that, physical therapists, uh, PTs. Um, anyway, but uh, what I would say is if they're worried about doping, you can print out that WADA letter from the back office that was literally from 20 years ago where they tested the patch because they're non-transdermal, right? So nothing is leaching into the body. What, what are they going to test for? There's no, there's no stimulants coming into the body. It's phototherapy. Right. They can drug test the athletes like Bo always got drug tested, especially his last semester of college when he kept breaking his own PRs. Every PR, like if there was a drug test, Bo Brennan was pissing because the bottom line is, is like they were like, why are you breaking your own? Because they knew he was wearing the patch. Right. They knew he was wearing the patch. So they kept drug testing him. And of course, the test always came back negative. It's non transferable. Nothing is leaching into the body. Right. But here's the thing. A lot of those people don't understand phototherapy. You could print out that letter from the WADA, World Anti-Doping Association, Angela, and that might give somebody peace of mind. Heidi Sarnecki is working on some big deals. Heidi, do you want to share about that at all or not really? Um, well, so I don't I don't know what there is to share except for just, you don't, just don't, name, don't name schools. Don't name don't, don't name the schools. Yeah. Just name what you what you're working on. Well, okay, so we we had an in because my husband, where he graduated from from college. Um, have, have we've had connection with them for years. And so I just called my connection, who was really the liaison between the donors, because we've donated to them and the athletic department. And I just, the funny thing is my husband, he's been in sales for years. Okay. Years. Kurt, he can't do this because it's a conflict of interest, but he said, Heidi, when you talk to him, how long are you, you know, how long are you going to be? And I said, I think I got it down to 20 minutes. And he goes, 20 minutes. Are you crazy? Five. That's it. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna say hello in five <laughs> minutes, you know, much less tell him about the patch. But anyway, I did do it in five minutes, exactly to the dot, five dot zero zero. And he's um, she's got the timer on on the desk. I did. <laughs> and um, surprisingly, he said, oh, well, the person you need to speak with, because remember, this is just the liaison. Um, he said, the person you need to speak with is the athletic trainer. Um, and why don't I set up a Zoom with you? And I was like, perfect. And so we did a Zoom with them. And I, I did make a big investment on my part because I feel like it's worth it. Because if, if this athletic trainer gets in, oh, and by the way, his wife is the athletic trainer for the women's basketball. He's for the men's basketball. But we're going to try to get um, all of the um, athletic department heads together on a meeting with David Schmidt. Thank you to Renita Brannon. I yeah, really yeah, appreciate that. And, uh, so we're still wait. working on that. But he yeah. is on board. So, he just bought a diamond so he could uh, start wow. working with some of his athletes. And he said that it really did have an effect, the Eon and the Energy Enhancers so far. Wow. Yeah. You guys, so this is like a big thing. So when you're asking that question, Angela, I mean, when they start seeing these professional, uh, well, not professional, these guys are more college athletes, right? But like when they start seeing this happening with these athletes where they're wearing patches on the court, like, right, they're they're patching and they're wearing them on the court. You're seeing it on TV. I mean, I think people's perspective is going to shift. We have been so indoctrinated with drugs. It's actually sickening to me, like how much we've just been like hammered with the drug industry. I don't know if we saw my post earlier today about how the majority of all drugs are actually coming out of China, which is just <laughs> it's just unbelievable what we got ourselves wrapped up to in this country. But the bottom line is it's shifting. And we are the light workers that are shifting it. We're the people that's bringing light to the situation saying, you know what? These athletes need to try something different. And in your case, Heidi, this guy is open to that, right? Because he loves he loves hyperbaric chamber and cryotherapy chamber. And he loves all those natural modalities of healing for the athletes. And he said to us on that meeting, he's like, a lot of these athletes are having, uh, uh, you know, it's like brain issues. 
you know, whether it's depression or anxiety, they're dealing with a lot of stuff, these athletes. And um, so that he really liked the idea of the Eon. I love how he had the suggestion. Can I put the Eon right after a game to bring him out of that sympathetic state back to a parasympathetic state? And then we're traveling. And the next day, you know, we put the patch on the next morning so that at least they get a restful night of sleep because, and that's somebody else. Who did I talk to today? I talked to somebody else that was a big athlete. Uh, in charge of big athletes. I talked to so many people today. <laughs> anyway, this person said to me, Renee, that's just it, is they just always stay up. They're always in that cortisol driven state after a game, during the game, after the game, they get on their iPhones, then they have weird schedules because they're flying to get to different locations to play the next game the next day. And so he said, they're just, they don't shut down. They're just always in that kind of fight or flight state. And he said, so I really like the idea of bringing the Eon in post game to bring these athletes back to that rest and repair state so they can actually rest that night. And, you know, their bodies are in that reparative state. So, uh, yes, we'll look for the water letter in the back office, Angela. See, it was worth your time getting on tonight. So just uh, Eon and Energy Enhancer, not external, but they're probably seeing the biggest results fastest with Eon and Energy Enhancer is what I'm guessing, right, Heidi? Not saying they're not using the X39, but I'm just assuming that takes more time to work for, for the average person. Yeah. He'll get and there. eventually he, ice wave. Adam's yeah. using the, uh, or the athletic trainer, he's using the X39 and his wife are. So it's just a matter of time that yeah. they'll be all yeah. on. They'll all, they'll all be on. All right. All right. So Heidi asked, thank you, Heidi, for sharing that. Heidi was asking about, let's talk about like, do you have to go sponsor someone internationally? So if you guys have international contacts, uh, somebody else asked about the Greece trip. I can't remember who asked that. If you go to LifeWave Wellness Warriors and just go into the search looking glass and type in the word Greece, you'll see the qualifications. So that's how you find that. But I'm just going to go to my website here and show you guys if you're enrolling somebody internationally. Let's screen share with you here. Um, so if I'm up here, Renew Health Coaching, and right here is where you change the, the country, right? So these are all the countries we're available in. Okay, so you can go down there and see all the different countries of it were available in, right? So if you're wondering, hey, are we available in certain areas? And I'll be honest with you, um, uh, for example, South Korea just opened, right? And I don't see South Korea on the list of the countries that are open, but we're open there. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So just because it's not necessarily on the list doesn't mean we're not open there. You know, maybe they just haven't added it. So if you're really wanting to know, you could also just ask LifeWave chat during the day just to double check if you're looking at a country and you're wondering why it's not on there. But so you can choose the country, whatever country you're dealing with. Let's say that we're dealing with Canada, which is would click on the country. And then it's going to basically kind of pull it up and see how at the top of my URL, it says market changed. You see that at the top there in my URL, lifewave.com forward slash joy, 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 market changed. So now you can see the Canadian right there. And, uh, you know, if let's say you're talking to us French speaking Canadian, which there are lots of those, you could go and push the word French instead of English. So you can have the language in English that you're looking at or French. Do you guys see that? So depending on what, what you're working with, if you wanted to do French, boom, do you see how the whole website went French? Okay. Hey, Renita, ab yeah. about the Canadian, um, <clears throat> I have a small Canadian team starting and um, I don't know if this is true or not, but one called me on Thursday and said um, his only complaint is that um, the customer service number is U.S. only. Like in Mexico, it doesn't have Canada on there. And he said for people like him, they wish there was a Can Canadian. Um, and he said he feels like it's old letterhead they're just trying to use up because he comes on the Zooms and, it, you know, this is coming soon to Canada. But he says, I wish somebody could tell corporate to include Canada. Yeah, they so need I don't to know. do I agree. They need to do uh, more with Canada. Uh, mm -hmm. I will tell you, it's not holding people back from growing because Fiodora, you guys know Fiodora, she's the one who won the trip for two to Mexico. She only signed up, I think, three months ago. She won the trip for two to Mexico. There you go. She's from Canada. She's That's just so a mom. awesome. Yeah, she's a mom. She's a mom who had a great result with her her daughter who was a type one diabetic. I think that the, her daughter um, was a type one diabetic. I think she's nine. I think she was able to reduce her insulin like six units or something like that in a week of using the patch. And so it was like really significant for her. So she just started sharing with all of her community. They're in a tight knit Russian community up there in Canada. And that lady ran it like, I mean, she is like running through the ranks at a dead sprint. And um, like I said, won that trip to Mexico. So it's not, it's, it's definitely not holding people back. I won't let them use it as a crutch or an excuse, but I agree 
that there needs to be more Canadian support. And like I said to the team, oh, you guys, that was a different different meeting I had. I had a meeting with my Canadian team and I said, you know, probably the best thing to do is to go on to um, LifeWave Business Builders on Facebook. LifeWave Business Builders, that's the corporate Facebook page and start asking questions on there because they're looking at that, that Garrett's looking at that, like the corporate staff is looking at that page because it's a corporate page. And so when you start going in there and inquiring about Canadian things, guess what's gonna happen? They're gonna have, they're gonna be answering some questions, right? And so if you can't get questions answered, I think sometimes chat and customer service are probably the least paid people in the whole company, right guys? And we expect the most from them when you call. And so I think sometimes to go directly to that corporate staff, which is like the Garrett's and all those guys, they're actually on that social media lifeway business builder. So ask your Canadian questions on there is what I would suggest until they have, you know, a documented like Facebook group and, you know, country manager that's completely engaged all the time. Until they have that, I would say that's would be their best asset, Robin, is to use that in the meantime. If they're not on that, have them join it and start asking there because that's corporate. And I have seen other people ask Canadian questions on that thing. So anyway, so back to this. Okay, you bet. So English, so I'm just going to be English because I can't understand anything that's on English. So if I got Canada and it's going to make available whatever products are available in that country. Remember that, right, guys? So uh, begin. So it, it works the same way as if you're doing, um, you know, let's join. I want to join. I'm from Canada and I want to join. Renew Health Coaching. That's my business name. But and then I come over here and you can choose your kit, right? So if you're choosing your kit, you're going to select that. And as you select your kit, it's going to show you that the X39 patches in there, right? Three sleeves of X39. And then if you wanted to alter that, you could always go here same way and reduce it. And then they're going to show you the patches that are available right there. They're not, it's not, it's not all of them. See guys how that list is shorter than it is in the United States, right? And so um, you can add until your cart turns green again. Getting my bottom. bathing suit, Ryan. Oh, there you go. She's getting the bathing suit ready. Okay. So that's it. So you guys got that? And so it's going to, it's going to, well, the, uh, the country you click on, it's going to quantify what's available in that country when you go to the cart. Heidi, does that make sense for you? So if, if something is not available, it just won't show up in that country. You know what I mean? Are you there, Heidi? Heidi there, so they would just out of luck then if they want something and it's not there or? Yeah, so if it's not there, that means it's not available in the country. Okay. So like not, not all the patches are available in every single country, right? So in Canada, they don't have certain patches that are, what's not available? You know, one of the sprays is not available. Health Canada is weird. Uh, <laughs> working they, on it, right? Yeah, they're, they're always working on it. They're always okay. working on it. Like, I don't think it's, a, I don't think it's, I always think, I don't think it's a never thing. It's just not yet. And so, um, but, you know, keep on it. Uh, but they don't have all the patches either. Do they not have AccuLife in Canada? I don't think. They don't have some of the patches in, in Canada when you look at the list. So I didn't look at it. Let's look at it again. Let's look at it together. Ready, guys? Now that we're looking at it together. So these are the <laughs> patches that are available in Canada right there. So, yeah. So I see what they have. Extra 9, 49, Eon, Ice Wave. So it looks like they don't have carnosine up there, right? Looks like they don't have AccuLife up there. See that? So that's that they're showing you what they have in Canada and it's not all of them. So what my advice is then you just choose what, whatever country you're in, you choose what's available. You can't, you can't say, oh, well, we need carnosine. Well, they're not getting any carnosine right now, right? So you just kind of choose what's available in the country. I think that the majority of all the countries, X39 is available. I don't know if there's any country where it's not. So when in doubt, X39 it, right? All right. Does that help you? Yes. Can't go so yeah, so yeah. Canadian and then then always the language, whatever whatever the language preference is. Okay. And then it will automatically do it. Like you don't have to adjust anything. It will if you if you choose the country, if I chose Albania, okay. Um, where's Albania at? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> if I chose Albania, now I'm going to Albania and hit join. This is the product oh. that's a bit and let's say uh I hit select. These are gonna show me the products. That the products that are available in uh, Albania right there. So patches, I click on them. These are all the patches available in Albania. Oh, they all are. Wow. 
Yeah. So every country is going to be a little bit different. Um, so if you're really concerned about it, then just go to the country, the person that you're talking to and just look at it before you talk to them. Right. Just pretend like you're enrolling them already so you can see what patches are available there. Smart. All right. You guys got it. OK, that was kind of a lot. We had a, kind of a lot of stuff going on tonight, didn't we? Did you learn something? I hope so. I also I'm like, if you just take away one thing, it was worth you getting on because that's business business. You just keep on growing. That's all it is. Right. Every day. Um, what does it say? Thanks for the advice. Yep. Uh, five new messages. Wait a second. Near Greece, I think it says USDA. Oh, she's telling me where it's at. I better get familiar with Albania because I'm going on the Greek Isle trip. I'm going to sign up some people from Albania on that cruise ship, maybe. I better get going. What does Albania speak? Is it a language, Albanian or something? Uh, what do you do? Okay, uh, that's it. So the products are not available. They're just not available right now. I've had some Canadians that they, I literally black marketed over patches. I'll be honest. I, I always tell them, I'm sending you all over the border. I cannot confirm they're going to get to you. So if they don't get to you, it's not that I didn't send them. It's that they confiscated them at the border. So I would always tell my Canadian team that, but they always got them. No one ever not got them. So it's, you know, I was never too worried about it. I would actually, the first time I sent him, I was really scared. <laughs> I was really nervous. So I took, I felt like I was like smuggling something into the country. And so I like I took the uh, X39 or not, it wasn't X39. I can't remember what they didn't have. Glutathione, I think, or something like that. And no, they didn't have X39 for a while. And so I took them out of the envelope and I put them, the 30 individual patches in a birthday card. I said, here's your stickers. Happy birthday. <laughs> I'm telling you, I did it. I did it. Guilty as charged. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> they made it there. They made it there. They're like, I got my birthday card. I'm like, good. Uh, anyway, so that's that. Let's see here. You bet. All right, you guys, that's it. May the Lord bless you. Keep you in China's face upon you. Thanks for all the great leadership tonight, sharing. I appreciate you, Heidi, and all the great things you have going on. Robin, Angela, Debbie, Sherry McCants. Sher Let's just say to Sherry McCants, you know, maybe it was somewhere between like, six and eight, 9,000. Okay, it was somewhere in there, right? It was Sounds a good. good. It Sounds was a good. good. It was a good week. <laughs> somewhere yep. in there, right? Yeah. Bo had his biggest week this week, and I can tell you it was somewhere between 18 and 20,000. Yeah. He was on the phone talking to somebody on his team today, a young girl that signed up at a college, and she is so excited. These college kids are getting in. I'm like, good for them. Like, I wish I would have been that sharp at 20. <laughs> it's like, it took me a while. It took me a while, but I'm here now. <laughs> right? So, yeah, get the college kids involved. We want all those kids off those drugs, don't we? All right, you guys. Um, it is fun. It is fun. This is a fun business. You know what I said to somebody today? I said to the pharmacist, I said, how much are you loving this? She goes, Renita, I can't get enough of it. She said, I can't wait to get home from my pharmacy job to like learn about life wave. I said, you know how God is, you know, God is leading you and guiding you. I said, it gives you fresh energy uh, when you get involved with something where God is kind of directing your path. It's like a newfound like energy and passion for helping people. And she's like, that's exactly what it is. And I said, it's kind of a divine appointment. And I said, but you know what, when you're there and she said, oh man, I can't wait to get home and learn about life wave because it literally fuels my fire. Like, you know, you got pharmacists saying, I, she said, my goal, I said, my goal for you is to get out of the drug industry. She goes, that's my goal first. I said, okay, that's your goal. But I'm, I'm coming alongside of you because I said, I want people to know about phototherapy. And I said, I don't, it's not that I don't appreciate what you've done with drugs because sometimes they're absolutely necessary and needed. I said, but, um, you know, she said, this is just way more lights my fire. I said, absolutely. So, yep. You bet you guys. God bless you all. Have a great night. Uh, and Tune in, go look at some of those testimonies. My advice would be go to the testimonies of Cena and Gina, watch 10 minutes of them and you'll watch them. And then when you talk to somebody, you'll be like, oh, I got a testimony for that. And then you'll know which one to send. Hey, Renita. Yeah. If, real, real quick. I just wanted to share something with you on, as a quick, quick testimony, because I had reached out to you early on about patching my mom. Yeah. Um, who, um, you know, she's taken a uh, psychotrope, uh, you know, antipsychotics for a lot of years. And so we started her on the X39. And the first thing that happened was she got this vivid memory back. Wow. And it scared us at first because the memory she was having was as if um, my dad had not passed. And so it was kind of heartbreaking that she was, you know, thinking she was going to go and have dinner with him and all these things like the memories just came flooded, 
flooding back. And I remember you said um, it means the uh, energy is moving, right? It, it, moving. There, there was movement. And so we kind of tapered off a little bit because we didn't want to be so, you know, it's such a fragile kind of condition. Um, just recently, I went ahead and I started up again. Yeah. And yeah. yesterday, I put a patch on her. She's in an assisted living and she's got the thing around her neck to push for the help. Anything she does, any movement she makes, going to the bathroom, going to the dining room, going upstairs, whatever, pushes a button to have the aides come and, and help her. She sat there, she was around the fireplace and I watched her from afar because I'm at the checkout desk and she did not push her button. She had it on for about 30 minutes. She didn't push her button. She got up. She walked down the hallway and went to the elevator to um, operate the elevator and go up to the second floor. That is unheard of. She she wouldn't make a move in that place without one of those aides right by her side. And within the span of about thirty minutes, of you know, it it jump started and it woke something up, and I could not believe it. I, I just couldn't. And, and the receptionist was at the front desk and I was talking to her about the patches because <laughs> she's going to try them um, with her dad. And I couldn't, I just kept interrupting myself to say, did we just see my mother go by? She goes, yes, we did. Yes, we did. <laughs> and, you know, it was powerful, powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, so, Jesus. I, thank you. I, thank you, absolutely. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It was a it was a miracle. And I'm glad that we stuck with it because in the beginning, yeah, me too. I was, you know, we were afraid like maybe she's this isn't going to be for her, but it just had to be more gradual. So if that's inspiring to someone, I just wanted to share it because we have hope. We have hope. And I'll tell you one last thing. I know, I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna make you ball some more and then we'll all get off. Um, I signed up um a new brand partner today. Um, she chose as her business name, Patch for Hope. So if you see Patch for Hope, wow. you know, um, we created a new, I sat with her and created a new email for her and we did her business and she's just, she's amazing. We're going to see big things from her and uh, real, I love real, it. my, my sister's also on, I signed up my sister. She, Good she's job. A, she's on Beverly's on here. I don't know if she's still on, but I just wanted to acknowledge that uh hi beverly we love that? angela so i'm sure that we love you oh yeah so i'm, sorry. Right, I'm gonna continue you. to pray for your mama like you know yeah. i'm such an advocate for the elderly you guys know that about me right like i'm like okay dogs children and elderly <laughs> that's who i'm yes. like uh just so uh you know we just gotta stand in the gap for those those people and so um yeah thank you for sharing that i mean you know, i get to hear pretty awesome stories most days i'm hearing something about neurodegeneration. And I just think that if there's anybody with neurodegeneration, they need to be wearing the patch. Like there's not even a question about it. And I don't know if it's going to take a little while or a long while, but it's worth it. However long it takes, it's worth mm -hmm. it. And I love how you kind of, you know, that's the thing, Angela, like I love when Dr. Leland Stillman, who's your sponsor said, mm -hmm. you know, when you're going through detox, it doesn't mean you stop. It means that you just kind of back off a little bit. And it's kind of like, I love how you use the analogy of turbulence. Like if you're yeah. flying on the airplane and you hit turbulence, the plane doesn't turn around and go back to Bismarck, right? Because if not, we'd never get out of the state, right? So with turbulence, it's kind of like that with the healing. When you start to have some of those unwinding, it doesn't mean you just stop cold jerky and I'm never going to do that again. Like today, let me give you an example. So the lady I talked to, the pharmacist, she passed her daughter. Daughter's been uh, recovering from long COVID for two years. It's been hell and high water. If I would, you can't even understand what this 20 year old went through. Like the list of stuff is off the charts. Like I've never seen anything like it. And so she was actually going to this Dr. Lonnie Herman, who's on our team, who I sponsored. And that's the same person we take my dad, I mean, mom to. And so a uh, long story short, she patched her daughter's feet with the energy enhancer and her feet swelled up. And I said to her, just what you said, Angela, I said, change means something worked. It means that we move the needle somehow. And then I, I had this book right here, this book right here. You shut the light off so you guys can see it. It's called Acupuncture Points. It was like a $12 book. I just bought it right when I started because I'm like, I don't know anything about acupuncture. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of want to learn about these different spots. And I literally went to kidney while I was talking to her today. And as she said, she had patched in kidney one. And kidney one, I talk about kidney one all the time because David Schmidt talks about kidney one all the time. Yeah, there it is. Heidi Sarnacki's got the book. 
And so kidney one on your foot is like right there, like right under that pad, like right there. And if you push on it, like mine's not sensitive at all. I could drive a stake through it. I don't feel it, right? But some people, when they push on there, it hurts. And that means that your kidneys need a little attention. I mean, when you have a point on your body that hurts, it means it needs attention, okay? But anyway, so I was, re I said, she doesn't have the book. So I just started reading it to her. And I said, the fact that her feet swelled up, and I learned this about Chinese medicine, I'll teach you guys this. When something swells up on the bottom, the energy is being pulled down. You want to pull the energy up. So I said to her, take the energy enhancer and put it like right on top of these traps right here, right there on top of the traps. And I said, and it's almost like the energy gets pulled back up. And the same thing is like, let's say somebody's got, um, let's say somebody's got, uh, so, so you're basically trying to pull the energy from the opposite end, right? Because she's got all this swelling. So I'm like, okay, that's too much energy down on the bottom. We need to pull it up. So I started reading this story. I said, I think it's something with, she said, I think something happened with my daughter's kidneys when she got COVID and she's been dealing with this for like, literally like almost two years. They've been, I mean, the woman, she couldn't dress herself, this daughter, the husband and wife had, the pharmacist had to move in with her daughter to college to dress her like, because she was so um, sick. Anyway, long story short, I said, well, what I would do is just start moving up the kidney meridian. It's something with the kidneys. It's something with the kidneys. Like if it, if you had that big of effect from kidney one, now listen, the average person would be on Facebook saying, my feet swelled up. I'm never going to do this again. I'm like, no, that means you need some movement going in that kidney meridian. Like don't stop now. Like you figured it out kind of, but just don't, don't pit patch the kidney one again. So I, I started reading to her. I started saying uh, kidney two and I showed her where it's at. And then I said, kidney three, uh, functions, asthma, deafness, fatigue, kidney weakness, frequent urination, heel pain, incontinence, memory issues, uh, low back, knees, like tinnitus. She's like, almost everything you just named my daughter has. I said, put the energy enhancers on kidney three, for God's sake. Let's move it up the kidney meridian. So she got up and she's like, like this woman was like, if I told you everything that happened, because we're Bible believing Christians, right? And so like, I was talking to her about three John two, how the Lord when I committed my life to Jesus, 3 John 2 says, Dearly beloved, I pray all is going well with your physical health as your soul is getting along well. It was a scripture verse, like I told the Lord at 25, if I'm not supposed to be in health, I just want to be in the will of God because I live my own agenda for too long. And and I literally was in the kitchen. I don't know if I ever told you guys this story. This is the this is how my life, this is a picture of my life, the story I'm telling you right now. I was in the kitchen and some one of my clients at 25 years old had given me a bottle of Bragg's liquid aminos. Do you guys know what that is? Like Bragg's. Bragg's apple cider vinegar. So she said to me, this is like, think about this. I'm 47. So this is like 22 years ago. She said, use it when you make soup. And I was making soup in the kitchen and I was praying while I was making soup. And I was saying, Lord, I, if I'm not supposed to be in health, like I don't want to be in health anymore. I don't care if I've been in it this long. I feel like I'm pretty good at it, but I'm not, I don't want to be a personal trainer anymore. I don't want to do this stuff. I want to be where you want me to be. And then I looked at the bottle and on Bragg's liquid aminos, it says three John two. And I remember just like staring at the bottle and I remember thinking, why is there a scripture verse on this bottle of aminos? And then I thought to myself, what's three John two? Like, I didn't know there was a third John in the Bible, right? And so I was like, Lord, what is three John two? And I'm just kind of looking at that. I walk into my living room. I literally take 10 steps while my soup is cooking. I had TBN on. Do you guys know what TBN is? Total Broadcasting Network. Like when I, became, when I committed my life to Jesus, it's all I watched. And I had TBN on TV and I walked 10 steps into the kitchen and on the screen on TBN, it's three John two. And it says, dearly beloved, I pray all is going well with your physical health as your soul is getting along well. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, thank you, Jesus. I'm supposed to stay in health. Well, today I told that story that I just told you guys to this pharmacist. She, after we got off the call, she went to Bible study Guess what the verse was at Bible study? Three. Three John two. She, she's like, read it all. Well, I've never even heard that verse. You just said it to me. I mean, like 20 minutes later, she's texting three John two at the th thing she's at. And I'm like, yeah, that's how the Lord works. So you're right where you're supposed to be. Make no mistake. You're right where you're supposed to be. But anyway, the reason I share all that with you is because when you're going through the detox phase, don't say, ah, I'm never going to do it again. It was too scary. If there was movement, that, that, that he Atlee gave me when he said movement is good. When he said that good or bad, it kind of changed my whole perspective. 
right guys? Because if, if you just, because of something bad, it, well, something moved, something was maybe blocked and now it's unblocked. Right. And so, like I said to this uh, gal today, I said, move it right up that kidney meridian. Let's go up that whole leg and foot and see what happens. She goes, I'm doing it. She goes, I can't believe when you're reading that list of stuff off. She said, that's everything my daughter has. That's crazy. I said, let's go kidney three, kidney three. And remember they're bilateral. So they go up both sides of the body like that. And so, and I said, and I know nothing about Chinese medicine, nothing. I don't know anything about it. Like I'm just reading out of the book, right? So anyway, I don't even know how we got off on that tangent, but there we go. Angela, yeah. thank you for sharing about your beautiful mama. What's her name? Let's pray. Anna. She's Father God in the, oh, I love it. I love Anna. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we're just so thankful for um, all of these great, great people that we have on our team. I mean, these people are just so amazing and we're so grateful that they're part of this awesome mission to help people heal on earth as it is in heaven, God. We just pray a special prayer over Anna tonight, a special prayer over Steve tonight, uh, that their bodies just continue to restore, rebuild, and renew. Just as your word says, restore, rebuild, and renew. We're believing that for their bodies, their bones, their muscles, their cells, their brain cells, their stem cells, everything in their body, God. You are the God of regeneration. And we just love that you just make the old new again. And uh, we are just believing for great miracles, continued miracles on everybody tonight that's on here, on their teams, on their family members, on their children, their grandchildren, their grandpas, grandmas, great grandmas and grandpas, and everybody that they come in contact with this patch. We believe that your work is our work on earth, Lord, and we just believe that the very best is yet to come. We're trusting you with every ounce of our energy and through this process and give people the fortitude and endurance to continue the race set before them. Uh, give them the endurance to continue the healing journey set before them, Lord. We just know that something always isn't, doesn't happen in an instant, but you are leading us and guiding us. And because of that, we can take faith and knowing that we're doing the right thing. So we love you, Lord Jesus. And we're just praying a shield of protection and favor and healing and prosperity over everybody on here tonight and all of their family members and all of their friends and everybody they come in contact with this patch. We love you, Jesus. We give you the glory for all of these miracles that are happening in your mighty name. We pray. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Awesome. You guys. Well, we just had a little church in addition to a business meeting. So <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah. right. you, guys, you guys have a great night and we will see you all soon. I appreciate you all so much. Keep us posted, Angela. We want to hear Thank more. Thank you. All righty. Bye-bye. Thank you.